So hi there everyone and welcome back to my Automate Chef series. My name is Leon, I'm the one looking after you. So we are going to get into this burger frenzy one. And let's have a look and see what it's done. Alright, it's actually, alright, so it's only one. Okay. Alright, let's have a look. There's something slightly different for us today. Speed eating. Most plain burgers in two minutes. Fifty plain burgers in two minutes. Okay. Interesting challenge. Assembler. Do that so we're doing plain burger operation mode high speed and um, we'll need a robotic arm um, and this might take a couple of attempts to get spot on but we're going to try it Um, robotic arm. Nope, 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 that's not what I want. That there. Right, that one is for the burger bun. Right, we can't go any lower than five seconds. See, that confuses me. How are we gonna... It's gonna have to be multiple machines. Okay, what I wanna do is see how much one setup costs us. I'm going to try and keep it all as tight as possible on it. Grill. I'm not even thinking about the power, the, the order reader, or anything at the moment. Uh, cook party. So I've got that one built for 15,000. Right, let's try that. I can only get two in. But if I move that to there, then clone it. with a, another conveyor belt
Right, let's start that. power usage that concerns me. But it's an interesting concept. Of the right, now we're on 15. Yeah, that power usage is just... It's getting close. Oh, can we make it? Can we make it? I think we're going to fail on the energy used. I really do. Yep. Right. ingredients than necessary. Okay, so let's have a think. So if we lose a line, four seconds to make a burger, so it makes 15 a minute. How much is a dispenser? 2,000. I'm going to try it with this one. Alright, it's so that what I meant to do. Raw party. Let's try it. I just want to see if we can get, if we can get more parties. Will that increase the amount of burgers? I can't actually add more in the current setup. Right, let's stop that. Um, right, this is the only way I've found of actually deleting parts at the moment. that slightly and put a conveyor belt just to try and increase the timing 
We'll put another one on this one as well. That's also going to do that. Right. Let's try that version. Should also reduce the power being used because we're only using two grills. But again, we've got double the amount of burgers being cooked. So I wonder if we need to add more buns being fed in. Getting enough. Yeah, we're past the halfway point where yet we're not even halfway through the amount of burgers we need to produce. second because it's not working. I'm going to try again on the top one. We'll put one there. The conveyor belt feeding into that one. That's doing burger buns. Okay. Right. Let's start that. Because if, if, if it affects the bottom one we're going to have to do a little bit of a redesign but I kind of can see how I can do that fairly quickly. It's working. Power wise, we're under the fifty percent, but we're still not getting enough. Let's see how far out we are. Oh, the food's piling up. on high speed as well. Right. We're actually getting the machine, these machines can't handle the speed. Right, I'm going to have a think about this one, and I'll be back with you very shortly. So, a little bit of time has elapsed since I was working on the first one, and you'll see the bit of the design has changed. So, what we've got is these two dispensers feeding into this grill, with these two picking up, feeding into these um, assemblers, with the bread, and all that. And then we've got another separate line down here. Now... One of the things I found, I mean, it worked fairly well. We were within power, but we were going over our ingredients quota. So what I've done is I've 
change the speed on this one. So I'm basically lowering the amount of time. They're on all on normal speed as well. And yeah, so let me show you how this one works. So as it is, it's taken a bit of playing around from the setup we had before. And originally, I mean, I was trying this one to see if I could get this one. I had them all on super fast, finding you can put the grills on faster. But again, it was burning through power, and we were we were basically with this top setup, we were only able to get, do 40, which is why I then put in this second setup at the bottom, which was then burning up ingredients. So as I said, they're slowing down should give us the opportunity to get this one done and get the 50 burgers done in time without blowing all the thing. The, as I said, the energy usage seems to be better. I um, mean, we're coming up to the halfway point and we have not burned through half the energy yet. But again, meal-wise, it starts slow, but it seems to then pick up. So we're about to hit halfway. We're just over, probably, you know, we're just about to hit the halfway point for meals delivered. But it, I'm hoping it should work. As I said, it's taken a lot of practicing and a lot of experimenting to get to this point. And it's trying to get that balance of everything we need. I mean, if you look now, we've only got about 10 left to go I said I like the challenge of this I mean it's probably taken me about an hour of real time play to get to this point it's, see it's it's counting as a success but I mean we were 126 ingredients Unfortunately, I can't got the money to put in nothing, but we're going to count that as a success. As it is, it's 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 pretty good. Um, as it is, if anyone has got any other ideas, please let me know. I have got these, both these kitchens saved, so that we can come back to maybe have a look at them at another point. But we're going to end this episode there. We're going to move on to street food next. If you've enjoyed it though, please do hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, or if you haven't already done so, leave those comments below. Until next time, bye bye for now.